Hello. We live and work in the Sonoran Desert of Southern Arizona. That's Drew. And Nick. And that's me. I'm Kara. Right now, our desert faces a serious threat from an invasive plant. And that plant is buffalo grass. Buffalo grass is a non-native invasive grass introduced from Africa. It was brought over in the 1930s for erosion control and for cattle forage. It is now well established throughout the Sonoran Desert. Buffalo grass spreads exponentially and this patch right here could double in size in just two to three years. Buffalo grass is a perennial bunch grass. Perennial means that it's alive for more than one year and bunch grass refers to the fact that all of the stems originate from a common base. During the dry season, buffalo grass is straw colored and has a very messy appearance. However, when it rains, buffalo grass starts to green up and forms a reddish purple seed head shaped like a bottle brush. It also has white hairs where the leaf blade diverges from the stem. You can think of this as a hairy armpit. After the seeds have dispersed, the central stem or rachis is very rough to the touch. This is a distinctive feature of buffalo grass and one of the best ways to identify it. If we compare buffalo grass with similar looking native grasses, none of them have this single abrasive central stem, the rough rachis. Buffalo grass is a threat for a couple different reasons. It outcompetes native plants. This permanently alters the composition of the ecosystem. It also increases fire risk. Deserts naturally have open spaces which prevent the spread of fire. Buffalo grass fills in these gaps allowing for the linkage of fire. These fires damage and kill native plants while buffalo grass is able to re-sprout. Because buffalo grass is so aggressive, it can be hard to manage. But through the use of manual and chemical treatments, it can be done. There are essentially two ways to manage buffalo grass. Pull it up or spray it with herbicide. When digging up buffalo grass, gather a clump of grass in one hand and pull while loosening the soil with a digging tool. The entire root must be removed. If any of the plant remains behind, it will re-sprout. The prying action with a digging bar is also effective, especially with a partner to help pull out the grass. The use of an herbicide that contains the active ingredient glyphosate also provides an effective treatment. However, glyphosate only works on green plants and should only be applied when the plant is at least 50% green. Because buffalo grass seeds remain viable in the soil for many years, it usually takes three to five years of consecutive treatment for our patches to be totally eradicated. If we don't do anything about buffalo grass, the Sonoran Desert will forever be changed. This could include the local extinction of saguaros. The spread of buffalo grass will continue to affect our quality of life. This includes our ecotourism, our scenic beauty of the Sonoran Desert, real estate value, and even public safety. At this point, buffalo grass can no longer be eradicated. But with your help, we can manage it in our parks, yards, roadways, and preserve our beautiful Sonoran Desert viewscapes.